Good morning and welcome in on this Monday morning. The sun is starting to look as if it's trying to break through here a little bit. We've had a little bit of rain following a beautiful day yesterday. Um, but welcome, it's Monday morning, um, nine o'clock. My name is Helen Jennings. I'm a stamping up demonstrator based here in the UK. And we've come in to do a bit of crafting. So hi Div, do come on and say hello. If you're watching us live, do come on and say hello. If you're watching on catch up, it's good to know who's with us. It's good to know where you're from. And it's good to know how you're doing. Is everybody doing okay? So had a bit of a couple of days away from doing Facebook Live. So once I've had a couple of days off, but um, I've been doing quite a lot of impromptu or quick, quick, I need to get that done card making over the weekend. Um, so I just had to clear my desk because it was looking, there was debris everywhere. Um, but we're hopefully sorted. We've got a cup of tea. We've got some things in front of us to play with. So all looking good. So I thought that we'd have a play with the Under My Umbrella set. So I've not used this as a product of the week in the lives um, yet. So as we've had a bit of rain this morning, that seemed very appropriate. Um, now we're into April, April showers. And what better time to get out your stamp sets and punches with umbrellas and wellies and things on. Morning, Beryl. Um, so that's what we're going to play with this morning, Under My Umbrella. And the bundle, as I say, consists of a really nice stamp set. It is a photopolymer stamp set. There's my reminder that I haven't turned my phone off. Um, it's a photopolymer stamp set and um, a punch that goes with it. And obviously you get both the open umbrella and the closed umbrella and the handle in the stamps. And you get the open umbrella, the closed umbrella and the handle in the punches as well. And then you get these really pretty little flowers and some nice sentiments. Life showers brings love to flowers. Showered with love, no matter the weather, we're friends together. It's your day, rain or shine, you're always on my mind. There's some quite good sentiments and some quite good sentiments to be sending out cards at the moment. So Monday tends to be our case the catalogue day and we don't seem to have done that for a couple of weeks um, because we've not had products that have actually been in the catalogue but I thought we'd do a bit of casing the catalogue today so let's have a look at the samples that are actually in the catalogue and um, I was spoilt for choice this morning actually as to what I was going to go for so we've got some really lovely samples I love this one this was a hot contender and actually I've made that one um, a one of my pictures on my um, Facebook group. I've pinched that picture because I do rather like that one. And that one is a watercolour background. Got some pearls on there, Wink of Stella on those raindrops, some sequins. Um, and the closed umbrella there with the little flowers in. This one, those flowers have been used in the background to create that background and the umbrella has been stamped and punched from some designer series paper and the handle has just been stamped onto that tag. So that's really pretty. And this couple of things down here, we've got a tag down here with some umbrellas overflowing with flowers. And then we've got this pretty little card here um, where the circle has got the umbrella, stitch circle has got the umbrella on it and sort of all been layered up. But the two samples that I'm going to play with this morning, we're going to case this morning, are the two that are in the index at the front so there's a couple of little cards just there and I thought they were both quite interesting. Got some interesting things going on in those cards. So um, I thought we would have a play with those. So that's what we're going to have a go at making today. So there might be some slight tweaks from those, but that's that's what we that's our inspiration for our crafting this morning is those two cards in the catalogue. So let's start with this. Hi Wendy. Lovely to have you join us. So good evening to you. Um, but we're going to start with this little one here. So we're going to have a go at making that little card there. Or we are going to make that little card there. It may not turn out quite the same as that card exactly. But we are going to create it. Now, what I do need is to grab um, a piece of Pear Bazaz cardstock. Oh, got my oddments, but I need a big bit. 
and we're going to make both of these cards up as um, little nine by nine squares. I don't know what's been going on on that trimmer, but um, it's looking decidedly grubby. I wonder if that was left over from when we were um, with our pigment sprinkles the other day. Let's just get a bit of kitchen towel, excuse me, doing the housework. Has to be done sometimes, that's still marked on there, but the fact that it's not come off with that water will suggest it's not going to come off on our cardstock either, and I can tackle that later. It's stained rather than a mark on it, which I can live with. Right, okay, so I'm going to cut this piece of um, pear pizzazz card at 9.9 .9 centimetres that way. And as we've said before, if you do it at 9.9 .9 centimetres square, you can get three of these out of a piece of A4 card. Obviously, if you're working in letter size, um, that's probably going to be different. And one of these days, you know, I might sit down and work out what the difference is. Or well, somebody might know how you can get three little square cards out of a piece of letter size cardstock. But we have our little 9.9 .9 centimetre square. So that comes in at just under four inches, which means it fits beautifully in the four inch envelope, which are easily um, combinable in normal circumstances. I'm sure you can still find some somewhere, even when we can't just pop to the shop. So that's our peps as background. The other thing we're going to want is a piece of Whisper White to make a tag and some Whisper White um, to um, put our greeting on. And then we're going to need a bit of the Coco Rose card. That piece there that's already got a bit punched out of it will be perfect and a bit of daffodil delight card oh not quite sure what's happened to that one that's looking a little bit battered so i will i will file that one in the recycling bin i think we'll have that one instead okay so let's start off with our background on our card. So what we're going to do with our card is we're going to take the Hello Sunshine stamp that's just here. Hello Megan, hello Angie, hope you're feeling a bit brighter. Old Angie is uh, laid up. Let's find look let's put it the right way round because that's always good that's not very lined up nice thing about having grid so even if, you, if you're using your grid paper or my nice grid, I've had so many people comment on my glass mat I've been doing some Facebook lives on an international group as well and every time I've done one somebody's commented on my glass mat I've had it so many years. I take it for granted. Good to hear that the pain isn't so bad, Angie. That's what we want to hear. So, hello, sunshine. Um, Pepperzaz card, Pepperzaz ink. Let's get our mat because we are dealing with the photopolymer, and we're just going to randomly stamp. I'm not even going to try and line it up. It is going to be random. We'll do random hello sunshines. And we can even come over the edge there a little bit. In the background. So sort of tone on tone. A bit of sunshine coming up there. Sorry, that was a bit low down, wasn't it? So there we are. We have our background card with Hello Sunshine stamped all over it. Let's give that a clean up. <clears throat> Pop him away. 
Then we're going to need a little welly boots and our closed umbrella. And we're going to need some Persimmon uh, ink. There we go. Oh, just dropping everything all over the place. And let's pop our card base to one side so we don't get any more ink or anything on it. Shut up that ink pad. I've got some white embossing powder there on standby. Let me get my embossing body and I'm going to stamp the whirly boots on the yellow. And the umbrella on the Rococo Rose. Let's get our white embossing powder. And sprinkle that on our willies. And on our umbrella. I think my embossing powder needs sieving. Seems to have lots of uh, bits of paper in. Okay, grab the heat gun. Let's heat that up. Oh, sorry, wobbling you. Pick that up because I don't really want to heat my uh, sponge mat. I don't think it would improve it, it would very definitely warp. Well, that's giving us a nice pop of white on that coloured card. So we don't need to colour anything in with these ones. Um, it is just going to be a question of stamping this one out. I'm going to cut that out and leave myself a bit of a tag to hopefully be able to wiggle that into there. Come back. Punch out our umbrella. We've got a nice handle there, but I don't think. I'm going to actually need that. I will going to punch my handle on some municipal white in a minute. Our little um, wellies, obviously we haven't got a punch for those, but they are a nice easy shape to cut out. But again, I want to make sure that to keep it sort of in the feeling of the punch, I want to leave it a little bit of an outline because we get a bit of an outline around this punched shape. We want a bit of an outline around our wellies as well. There's our wellies, there's our umbrella top. Hi Doreen, I'm going to grab some Rococo Rose and the little stamp for the handle of the umbrella. So I'm going to stamp that onto some Whisper White card. And 
and then actually what I'm going to do what I found actually with this handle is it's easier because it's a photopolymer stamp it's actually easier to punch your handle out first and then line up the stamp than to try and do it the other way round so if you were mass producing them this is the time to get your stamparatus out there put our little handle in there leave that on the top there because I'm sure we'll be coming back to those So we have our handle, we have our umbrella, morning Hannah, we have our wellies. <clears throat> We're going to put all of these onto a tag that's then going to go onto our card. So I think that tag is probably a little bit too wide. Let's trim that down. Is it currently about seven? Mm. Let's go for five and a half, I think. Yeah, that's about right. And then we're not going to need it as long as that. Let's go. Let's go eight. You might want to trim that down a little bit more, but no, I think that will be about right. So that's five and a half by eight, that tag there. Now the one in the, um, the sample just here, they've just snipped the edges off to make these a square. But what I'm actually going to use is I'm going to bring in this sort of triple punch here and I'm going to corner around these two edges. And then I'm going to use this here, try and line that up a bit by eye. And we're going to use that for our hole in the top. So there's our tag that we've created using that punch. And that is going to sit on here. And we're going to have our umbrella. And we're going to have our welly boots. So we just need some flowers to go in there to sit behind our um, umbrella. Now we've got a few little different sprigs of flowers here, some small ones, some larger ones. Let's have a think, what shall we have? So I think we'll have... Um, This one here and probably so that big one and this little one here I think are the two we're going to go for. So that is this one I think. <laughs> yeah, that one. We're going to have that one and we're going to have that one. Let's go with those two. And I'm going to stamp these with um, basic grey ink and we're going to line them up, hopefully, so they're going to sit behind our umbrellas and things and the, the nice thing about this is these are going to overlap a bit anyway so as long as we've got it basically right we can sit those in so we want let's ink that up now my basic grey is still an archival basic grey i've not yet got round to um replacing it let's take that out of the way so we're going to want about there oh upside down Never mind. 
Shall we try turning that round? And we'll have one about there. That's better. And then we'll take this other little one. Oh dear, oh dear, Helen, get a grip. And then this one. I am just going to have a little flower peeping out there. So this is going to hopefully cover that up like that. Beautiful. And then we want our wellies that are going to come in here. So we want some flowers coming out of the top of there about there okay and then those ones we're going to colour in with our watercolour pencil so let's grab those um, mm -mm -mm. we've got some nice bite those leaves there were Joe Nice bright colours down the bottom there. We'll come in with some nice bright colours at the top here. Might get a slightly darker green and add in a bit more. That's a second colour, just a bit of variation in our leaves let's have some daffodil delight actually let's start with some orange in the middle of these flowers then we'll come out to some daffodil delight back in with my blender pen in a minute very softly because we are only on normal whisper white card let's have a bit of pink going on oh well there you go Dorian I must have known that you're going to have delivery of this set today and thought to myself I know let's use those for Doreen um, just going to put a little bit of yellow in the middle of that one. I'll have a bit of pink going on in the background here. A bit of yellow. And we'll have a bit of orange going on down there. Now that all looks very odd. Let's grab our blender pen. Give it a scribble on something, make sure there's no other colours in it. And let's just drag out some of that colour. Do the same with the pinks. I haven't got any colour on these ones. Let's have one yellow one and one pink one. We might just need a little bit more green down here. Just put these a bit of colour just in case they're poking out somewhere. Okay, so that's our flowers coloured in. Talking and colouring, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got I haven't got too many talents, but I can talk and colour. Right, so we're going to want that umbrella sort of coming down there like that. Perhaps we're gonna swing it that way a little bit. About like that would be perfect, wouldn't it? So let's put some dimensionals on the back of the umbrella and we'll stick that in place. I 
Thank you, Angie. <laughs> As you're lying in bed with your feet up. We have that one coming there. And then our little um, wellies. We're going to want to come in down there. So we'll stick those flat on, I think. See, in the original, the wellies are sitting underneath, but it's swinging the other way round. So I'm tempted to have my wellies come over the top, I think. They may have um, been really good and stamped all those flowers onto an extra piece of card and fussy cut them, but, you know... There is only so much, isn't there? Right, well, we will put a little bit of glue on the back of the handle. We'll stick the handle down. Now, is this my Tombow that's not playing ball? Yeah, I think. Let's go over the top. One of my Tombows is a bit bunged up. I need to um, see what I can do to unbung it. So we'll have our little handle coming in there. Hopefully I'll put that back the right way. So then we're going to get another little piece of Whisper White. And let's do a, a, um, a sentiment. Now, the sentiment we're going to use, it says, Friends Forever. Now, like with lots of these things, we haven't got a Friends Forever, but we have got a No Matter the Weather, we're Friends Forever. So let's take that. And do a little bit of masking. It's one of these that... Hi Sue! Well, come and see us on here and um, we will hopefully all be back at Unit 21 as soon as we can. Right, I'm going to mask this Mask off the words we don't want. Just looking to make sure that that's tucked down there so I get the top of that F. And we could have we're friends forever, but we're going to mask off the we're as well. So we've masked everything off. So the only bit that is showing now is friends forever. So I've got some old olive ink here. I'm going to ink that up. And when you're doing this technique, this is the most important bit. Take your tape off. Otherwise you will, it will stamp anyway because you'll be pressing down on the ink. So let's, fingers crossed. Da -da, not bad. We've possibly lost a little bit on that end there, but nothing that we can't live with. So let's just snip that off like that. Um, let's put the lid on here so I don't lean in it. could go and find my banner punch but I'll just banner end it by eye so snip up the middle and snip in from each corner so there we go that's that and we're going to have that coming across there and I think I'll use a couple of glue dots will be the easiest thing for that so one Thank you. Two. That's stuck on there. 
And the last thing we need is a bit of the slippery white seam binding. And through the top of our tag. Over the top. I actually might have not given myself quite enough of the tail there. That's some um, because we want a nice biggish bow. Let's try that again. That's it. And then we'll make a bow with this. Why is it the minute I suggest I'm going to make a bow? When I'm doing this live, you go all fingers and thumbs. You can do this 90 times a day. Suddenly you go all fingers and thumbs. Right. Let's uh, move this round. So we're looking at it the right way. Snip that side off. And then we're going to add that white tag. And suddenly it doesn't look so starkly white. Just there it looks, hi Tina. There it looks really starkly white. The minute you add it to that green background, suddenly it's got a bit of life to it. So we'll pop that one on there. So that's really quite cute. So I quite like the idea of that white embossing on coloured card. We'll ignore the um, ignore the stamped flower on the back. We're pretending that's not there. Hi Chrissy. And we will put that on there on a bit of an angle. And there we go. That's our first little card that we have cased from the catalogue with a bit of a tweak. Made our tag slightly different. I think I've got a bit of tassie hair in there as well. I'm sure they don't have my dog's hair on the cards on the catalogue. But there's one. So we've created one little card from the catalogue and then we're going to have a go at the other one. And the reason that this other one caught my eye is when I looked at it, it sort of said masking and I'm looking and thinking, ah oh, yes, I can see how they've masked that. So we're going to do some masking. But warning it might be a little bit fiddly let's see how we go let's clean up these stamps because i'm sure we're going to need some of those in a minute now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get out a post-it note it is cute isn't it chrissy can't take i can't take credit for designing it the designers at Stamping Up did the basic design. We're just we're just looking at it and looking at the ingredients and going right. Okay, I can see what the, I can see what they've used. <laughs> I can see the finished picture. How did they get from A to B? A bit of card floating in the tea. Right, so we've got a post-it note here, sticky side at the top, um, and we're going to stamp the large umbrella. So let me find, I think this block would be good. Now, if I was masking normally, what I would do at this point is I would stamp that right at the top so that as much of that umbrella as could possibly be on the sticky bit of the post-it note would be on the sticky bit of the post-it note but that's not what we want on this occasion we want some area around it so I'm actually going to stick stamp this post-it note slap bang in the middle of there because what I want to do is I want to cut out the umbrella and leave a hole not cut out the umbrella to use as the mask. So let's snip into there. Obviously, I'm not worried about keeping the umbrella, so and I'm not going to worry about that little 
bit at the top either. We'll just ignore that. We're just going to cut round the basic shape. Oh, the sun's coming out now. So sorry, everything's going to go into funny shadows. I had thought on Friday when we'd had lots of shadows, or to try and rig something up at the window to stop that. But then, of course, this morning when I first went live, it was overcast and it wasn't a problem. But now the sun's come out. I'm not going to complain at that. So I'm going to cut around there. So what I'm left with there? Oh, there's some scope there for something Batman-y, isn't there? Um, but yes, yeah, so what we've got is we've got a post-it note with an umbrella-shaped hole in the middle. And I'm going to take a piece of whisper white card. Let me snip that bit off. Don't need that bit. I am going to be punching this out with my umbrella punch. So let's just grab our umbrella punch and let's see so we're going to in order to it's always worth looking at these punches when it comes to punching it we're going to be slipping this in the cardstock in there so we need ideally our umbrella to be on this bottom let's turn that around so we're looking at a flat bottom I'm going to put that about there what I might also do is just Tape that down on both sides so that it's all staying nicely. So what we've got now is we've got an umbrella shaped hole and into our umbrella shaped hole we're going to stamp some of our flowers and I think um, I'm going to see how we go, maybe depending on what flowers fit in as to which ones we're going to use. So let's start with this big flower image first in the middle and we're going to be colouring these in with Stampin' Blend so I'm going to stamp them with Memento. So let's have that one there. And then we'll come in with this one there. Have this little one. actually bring that one in again there and possibly having that little flower just poking in the bottom there okay so that looks quite odd but hopefully when we take this off what we should have is umbrella shaped stamping And if we take our umbrella again, hopefully we're going to be able to line that up over the top of here. So that's there, that's there. Like that. And then we'll be able to punch that out and then we shall colour in those flowers. And what will happen when we punch this out is that we will get a nice white border all the way around our umbrella that isn't coloured. And that will hopefully become more obvious as we colour it in. 
So let's just move some of these flowers and things to one side for a minute. Take off our mat and let's bring out our stamping blends. Oh, and obviously we can go what colours we like. Um, oh, what shall we have? A bit of Calypso Coral. Daffodil delight. I don't know that we're necessarily going to want two colours of things. Mm. A bit of dark purple posy. We'll have some granny apple green. We'll have a bit of light balmy blue, I think, going on. Or, no, let's have dark pool party going on in the background. Let's see how that takes us. So we're just going to colour in some flowers. Have this little one up here as well. Oh, Hannah slipped up there, stopped talking and colouring. Let's have a little bit of Daffodil Delight going on in the middle there. And perhaps a Daffodil Delight blend to colour that flower in. And I'll have another... Daffodil Delight one down there. Let's have a dark purple posy one there. So have a little bit of a Possibly want another colour in there. What colour shall I go for? Mm. The cocoa rose, perhaps. And we'll have a bit of Ricoco rose up here. And a bit of Ricoco rose just here. Daffodil Delight just there. And I think we'll have a bit of Daffodil Delight going on in the background just there. And some Rococo Rose down here. Some Granny Apple Green. Let's do some leaves. So as I say, I'm not worried about doing lots of shading and things on this. I'm just putting down colour. Want some flower centres there. That's some flower centers and then I'm just going to take this pool party and just fill in oh I think that's leaves just there and I think we've got some bits of leaves just there so let's just take in the pool party and fill in the rest Jane. So just filling in that background bit just there. So 
Then what we get is that really lovely bright umbrella. Oh, nice black smudge on my hand. We've got that really nice bright umbrella, but with that white border. I think that's really striking. Hope you're doing okay, Jane. I'm sure lockdown is very bizarre for you because you're one very busy lady normally, meeting with lots and lots of people. And a people person. So I bet this is torture. So welcome to come and play with us for a little while. Right, so we've got that really lovely bright umbrella there. So what I'm going to take is... I'm going to take... Um, going to do a balmy blue background I think so again we're going to create one of those little mini square cards so let's cut this down to 9.9 .9 centimeters there and let's swing it round and cut it to 19.8 and then let's score it at 9.9 .9. so that gives us a 9.9 .9 centimeter square card which will fit into your four inch envelope um, but will mean that you can get three of those out of a piece of A4 paper so how wide is that little piece of card just there That is, let me just measure, I'm going to make this square, so 8.7, I think that will probably sit quite nicely on there. Um, I'm going to grab my balmy blue ink pad, make sure we give this a good squeeze. Then we'll take a water brush. So this is shimmery white cardstock. Yeah, I bet it is lovely. Poor old Jane, driving your nuts. We're just going to use our balmy blue ink and we're going to put a watercolour wash on that um, shimmery white cardstock. The dog is just determined to get in on the uh, proceedings today. So there we are, nothing too fancy, just a bit of a swish of water across the background. Let that dry for a minute. The other thing we'll do is we will get a little bit of white cardstock and print us and stamp ourselves another handle. place if I put my ink pad line that up and oh the other thing we are going to need is a few sequins let me have a rummage around and find the sequins just letting that dry naturally as long as I can. I am going to have to give it a blast with the heat gun in a minute in order to stamp it or we'll let it dry. Let's grab the woven threads assortment sequins. Put the lid on there. Right, I'm going to give this a bit of a blast with the heat gun just to dry it off.
Okay, and we're going to take the sentiment that says, Rain or shine, you're always on my mind. Sort of card we should be sending to Jane, who's going stir crazy stuck at home. Just to let her know that we're thinking of her. It's day times like these that I am quite glad that I am sort of by nature um, a bit of an introvert and that I am quite happy with my own company spending time at home. I can find lots to do but for people that need and it is a need that need people because the difference between I mean I find this fascinating difference between an extrovert and an introvert it's not necessarily having the gift of the gab or anything like that but an extrovert needs interaction with other people in order to um, top up their energy levels whereas an introvert needs to um, take time away to be on their own in order to top up their energy levels so I need that time on my own I know if I haven't if I've not had that time away that I get exhausted but for other people um, if they're not getting that interaction it's not good for them right so we're going to put our lovely little flowery umbrella on there so we'll stick on our handle you found a kitchen! Goodness me! Having to cook and bake and... I'm just eating. See, I knew when I put that Tombow away I was going to put the wrong one away. Um, yeah, eating for England. Funny not, not in the daytime when I'm on my own because both my husband and son are having to continue to work. Not having to, but they are continuing to work. Um, because of their jobs but it's not when I'm on my own that I eat it tends to be in the evenings I think it's when I get tired I should just go to bed instead of which I eat crisps and chocolate and whatever I can get my hands on not good right let's put a couple of big dimensionals on the back of there and we will layer up a beautiful big flowery umbrella. And we'll take a few of these little sequins. Now my little pick you up tool, I haven't put it back on the... Uh, I was using my brush last week for the fancy dye so it's still... Let's have one of the little ones. Okay. Oh, for goodness sake. I need to put a warning sign on that Tombow. <laughs> now I've dropped my sequin. There it is. One there. And we'll have one here. Turn our sequins up the right way. And then we'll have one down here. Let's put a little big blob for a little sequin, but never mind. I'll pop that on there. And to put that one back in my tray, leave that one there and sort that one out in a minute. So the other thing I'm going to get is a little bit of white twine. And we'll wrap that round the top. And we'll go round a couple of times. I think I'm going to give myself a bit more of an end so that I can tie a bow. Yeah, and again we've gone into um, tie a 
Okay, bow on the top there. Here you come. No, we can't get fl flour. Is is not very easily come by here either. I've got some at the moment, but I do keep looking just because I normally have a spare bag of each. Luckily, I have got a spare bag of plain flour, which if you're going to go anyway, is the best way. Because, of course, at least I can add a, a raising agent to plain flour if I want to. Um, but, yeah, I haven't been able to get myself a spare bag of self-raising as yet. But I'm sure that will come. Okay, we've got a little bow on there. We're just going to add that to our blue background a watercolour wash on that could have done with being a bit darker never mind let's pop that on there so there's another cute little card i just love that like that technique of sort of doing the center mask so that you can fill in your umbrella and obviously my little mask i am going to put in my stamp set hang on to and you could do all sorts of things you could use any of your sort of background stamps you could have gingham umbrellas or all sorts of things so that's a useful little tip. So there we go. We have cased the catalogue this morning. Um, I think there's might be three by that one might be a three by three card actually because ours is a bit more spread out. We could have perhaps even got another umbrella on there. So there's theirs and there's ours. So hello sunshine and rain or shine you're always on my mind. A couple of pretty little umbrella card so I think they're quite cute um, so thank you for joining me this morning to case the catalogue we'll be back tomorrow um, with more umbrellas and wellies and goodness knows what and we'll um, have a play at doing something different so off to get some breakfast I think I'm not even done that yet okay have a great day everybody or a great evening if that's where you are and um i will catch up with you tomorrow